Have you guys ever wondered what the single best mode fusions in the game are? Like, what modes to use with other modes? Well, in this video, you're about to find out. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and subscribe to the video, guys. By the way, this is going to be a top 20. I've never done this type of video before. So, if you guys actually like top 20s instead of top 10s, you know, just for topics where, you know, there's usually less of something, feel free to let me know in the comments below. We'll be checking them out. All right. So, coming at 20th place, it's actually going to be the Kagoku Rab mode splush, uh, plus the normal Kagoku mode. Now, what this actually does is actually buffs your Kagoku M ones to make them better there's not really much else other than that it quite literally just makes your m1s better there's also a glitch right now in the game where the kagoku rab mode will stack with anything which is also a huge plus and it makes you do a ton of damage in general now coming in 19 places will be ragnar mode plus shock cloak now the reason why this is going to be here is honestly just because you can go insanely fast with these modes so here's shock cloak with ragnar run and here's actually the c-spec which is a lot faster than it normally is and then obviously you do actually get the m1 combo extender of the actual weapon spec and stuff like that so i do think that these modes are not only just a good combination because they're fast but it's also pretty fun to use them together they're coming in 18 place it could be snake stage plus ragnar mode now ragnar mode plus snake stage is actually a lot better than you would think just because you know the rag like it allows you to do these absolutely insane m1 combos so let's say you start off with the c boom 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 you're stunning someone boom you knock it back full m1 combo right into the throwable into a full m1 combo oh he's dead <laughs> into a full m1 combo into the into the weapon spec into a full m1 combo into the z spec it's honestly just a really good m1 combo in general and these are actually quite a good mode fusion the cover to 70 place to be ren goku plus demonic spirit now this is this should be fairly obvious demonic spirit allows you to actually combo extend with the ren goku mode more efficiently so like this so boom hit him with that fat m1 combo and then you can immediately z spec into the c spec of it and then you could just you could just combo extend like that and stuff like that so i do actually think that they are really good the combo extend with one another the only issue is obviously that demonic spirit has a ton of cooldown so you only get to use it once pretty much during a fight or twice now coming to 60 place it could be six path naramaki c2 plus dune c3 so the reason why this is gonna be in here is because honestly you you would just have a lot of versatility in your actual moves so when you actually go into dune z3 i'm pretty sure yeah the weapon spec you have to right mouse button into the weapon okay i did it the opposite way it, it's the weapon spec without right, right, right without right mouse buttoning it but yeah honestly dude's fate the block breaker works really well with this mode in general just because six Path naramaki does a ton of damage when you use if you use the c spec and then you click if you you could block break into that ability without any end lag whatsoever so like okay so the web spec is bugged when you actually combine it with six pad naramaki that's good to know have you ever gotten 80 spin rarity and gotten something like just atomic well that's because you haven't hit the like button on this video yet if you hit the like button on this video you're guaranteed to get 10 million times a lot 100 percent all right so coming in 50 place to be akuma tonal hand and strange now the only reason it's going to be in here is honestly because it is that good for pvp now the reason why is honestly because you just get tons of iframes you still get the bonus m1 damage from strange itself and then you obviously get the second life from the c spec of strange and the second life from akuma eternal hand now boom if you can actually also get the iframe of the z spec of akuma eternal hand it's just honestly a really good mode combination and you will not be let down by it at all it also doesn't drain that much mode either all right so coming at 14 places it could be shindai akuma and dunes z3 now the reason for this is because shindai akuma and dunes z3 actually go quite well together in the grand scheme of things just because first of all your stats will be massively increased from actual dune z3 the weapon spec of shindai akuma you could actually right mouse button into it or you actually have a block breaker which is dune z3 so I, it's just, there's a lot of weird interactions and stuff like that but in general you actually will be quite well off using this mode fusion the company to 13 place would be naramaki c2 and snake sage now the reason for this is because naramaki c2 and snake sage are honestly really good abilities in general but when you start to combine them by the way i'm talking about the rework whenever i mentioned like snake sage on this video it's honestly because you actually get the chi drain of naramaki c2 and now if, if you guys are unaware of why that is such a big deal it's because you actually get you get more cheese rain than you normally would get with this combined with the fact that snake sage is obviously just really good by itself all right so this one's going to be a weird one it's going to be dunes z3 plus shindai ren second now you actually have to use the either yang or shindai ramen because the original shindai ren does have a web a weapon spec for it so the reason why this is just so good is because you could basically so since the m1s are so big right you could snipe them with your weapon spec and then do a full m1 combo into the throwable and then you could do another full m1 combo to them it's just honestly a really good combination of abilities and it only works with shindai ren's skin so just keep that in mind the company at level place would be brune Kanchu and tintails now this one's going to be for a pretty specific reason honestly it's because the tintail z spec goes amazing with rune Kanchu's c spec so if you can manage to hit the c spec of uh tintails on them you can pretty much start wailing on them with all of the abilities and then you also get the 
the other abilities of Tintails, which are also good. As you can see, I just did 250,000 damage instantly. Uh, you could have perfect blocked, I would say, 200,000 damage, but you still would have dealt still a bunch of damage. It's honestly just a really good mode combination in general, and it does a ton of damage when you throw all the abilities together. Now, coming to 10th place, is going to be Van Helsing mode plus Akuma Eternal Hand. Now, this is going to be here for very obvious reasons. You honestly will just have so many iframes that it will be very hard to kill you in general. So, first of all, it looks really cool, so look at that. So, you have the Z spec, which is an iframe. You have the throwable, which is another iframe, and then you have the other C spec, which is yet another iframe. So, I, I actually do think that the, the amount of iframes alone definitely make this mode combination worth using. Now, this one should be pretty obvious based on what I've said before in the video, but Dio Senko plus Tintails combination is actually ludicrously good. Now, the reason for this is because, first of all, you get all of the benefits of Tintails because Dio Senko doesn't mess with your mode at all. So, boom, you can start off with the C spec, do a full M1 combo. Okay, I messed it up, but you can do a full M1 combo into the Z spec, and then you can just start wailing on them with all of the other abilities of Tintails because, like I said, Dio Senko doesn't interact with Tintails at all. So, you pretty much get all of the benefits of both of them entirely. It's just honestly a really good damage mode combination. Now, coming to eighth place, it could be a Paul Seer at Tetasion mode and Dio Senko. Now, I actually do not have the ultimate mode of a pull, but the reason for this is because Dio Senko doesn't actually ca like it doesn't interact with your M1s at all. So you will still have your buffed M1s even with Dio Senko mode. So basically, you you have the right mouse button, which is the uh, raised block of the final mode, and then you actually get Dio Senko's really good abilities in general. So you get the C spec that can bypass. You get the awesome weapon spec and stuff like that. So you actually do get the best abilities of Dio Senko, which while also getting the best ability of Paul, which is actually the raised block. Now coming to seventh place, we Shindai Ren and Toad Sage. Now this one isn't for you know a very you know big reason it's not for the reason you might expect look at the c2 first of all this is absolutely hilarious and look like so for some reason toad sage actually makes you bigger so i am literally so big here let me try i'm literally so big that i'm halfway through the ground let me see if i can get onto the wall to show you guys how big this actually is the reason why this is i i put this on this list is because it is so huge it is look i'm touching the ground <laughs> i'm this big i'm bigger than this entire map vertically like this is not it's, it's just i think it's absolutely hilarious and it's just a really good mode combination just for that now coming to sixth place to be snake sage plus strange mode now this is for a very specific reason first of all this is super drippy man like look at this drip seriously snake sage plus strange is probably one of the coolest combinations here i gotta get into base combat here it's honestly one of the coolest combinations like look at that man look how cool that looks look how cool that looks man but it's not only for looks obviously you do actually have the uh super high damage m ones and then you could actually m1 combo extend with it really really well just because like just because the m1s do so much damage in general it's actually funny because strange actually has a bunch of m1 combo extenders because you can can combo extend with the c spec weapon spec and then snake stage does have the throwable which also combo extends it's honestly just a really really good mode combination in general and honestly it doesn't even drain that much mode either now coming to fifth place is going to be the og mode fusion narmaki c3 plus ryan ren z2 i mean narmaki c2 um the reason for this is honestly just because it's it's the og mode fusion that a lot of people you know think is very very cool and i do think it's cool i think it's a cool mode fusion in general but the reason why i'm actually going to be including on this list is just because of the memories this was the two timed modes in the game at the time and it's honestly they're not honestly that bad together but when you actually think about it in the grand scheme of things it's definitely not that good now coming to fourth place it could be ren goku mode plus dunes mode three now this one's going to be here for a very obvious reason ren goku already has has insanely like red goku mode by itself is obviously super versatile the only thing it's honestly missing is a good block break now uh do it's kind of hard to trigger the dunes fate block break because you do actually have to uh use right mouse button into it but if you don't actually want to deal with that you can actually just use the original dunes fate which is you know it's just the original it just does less damage in general but i do feel like this is a very good very good mode combination dunes fate and run goku now coming to third place it could be any akuma's c3 if you're using normal akuma it'd be c6 plus akuma eternal hand now the reason for this is because it barely drains any mode it's 35 mode drain a second plus you get so many iframes from using akuma modes for some reason almost all of the akuma modes just generally have really 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 you know large amounts of iframes so when you combine these modes together you get a second life it barely drains any mode plus you get a you know a counter and all that stuff so it's honestly just a really good combination in general and it's definitely worth using now this one should be super obvious guys strange mode plus slug mode this will quite literally make you unkillable while using strange mode i'm serious like the rework of snail spirit awakened first of all the throwable will make it so the mode combination doesn't even drain that much mode from you and then you actually have the weapon spec of a 
of strange mode plus the z spec which is pretty much infinite healing because you can honestly use the web spec or the c spec for iframes and do damage at the same time while also healing inside of the sn snail sage this doesn't really need, need much explanation other than what i said you basically have free healing the actual strange abilities are also iframes as well plus the fact of like the strange abilities are also insanely good which also <laughs> combines onto the fact that being able to heal in the middle of it just makes it infinitely better now number one in this list is going to be kagoku rabbit mode plus any large m1 in this entire game now this one should you know maybe if it's obvious if you guys actually know you can stack these modes they are stackable which means if you use any place lock stun so i'm going to place lock walk right next to them you basically get two free m1 combos based on how long the stun is which is 200 000 damage when you stack these modes together it does so much damage it's also insanely good for pve content and it's pretty much just what worm sage was but a little bit worse because kagoku rabbit spirit isn't as good as worm sage anyways guys that's me for this video if you guys enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe i'll see you guys